when the saints go marching in Oh, when the saints go marching in I wanna be there in that number When the saints go marching in Oh, when the saints, when the saints go marching in Marching in Oh, when the saints, when go, the saints go in Marching in I wanna be there in that number Tourism and hospitality is a very complicated business. We make it look very easy, but in fact, we really need to coordinate a whole range of resources. But what brings us into management is the fact that we are very hospitable. Hi, Theo. How are you? Nice seeing you. Are you well? Very well. We are here at the Hotel Miramar with Theo, the manager, and um, it's always a miracle when we are bringing all these different resources together to manage finance, to manage human resources, to manage marketing, to manage things that are related with procurement and create magic. Because this is what management is all about. It's about creating magic in locations where people are coming from all over the world in our facilities to manage uh, and, and, and co-create experiences. These experiences are quite difficult to do because they are multicultural and we need to operate with different people and we on the service side and also on the uh, on the consumption side and to manage all of those things with a smile i love coming back into kitchens because this is where a lot of the magic is happening and those people who have worked in kitchens like myself they understand how the food and beverage operation needs to be everything together from procurement that goes all the way back to agriculture where we need to source the right kind of ingredients to all the uh, methods and the techniques that we're using into managing uh, the operations and learning how to cook and how to bring all the ingredients together towards customization of, of the product to the needs of the customer. Now, our customer interna is international by definition and therefore we need to bring together a whole range of different uh, uh, customs Diets, uh, allergies, religions, all of those things that they come together. And it's absolutely essential for all of us in the tourism and hospitality industry to manage all the resources together in order to come back and co create the product with our customers. We're a little bit guilty for making things look easy because. Underneath the puddle, when the customers they see the experience that they have, um, they see all the smiles and everything happening. But underneath, the tourism industry and the hospitality industry are puddling really hard to make sure that they satisfy their customers. You will see a range of different entries on the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing, explaining how managerial decisions are made and what kind of techniques we're using in order to manage. Uh, the resources and to satisfy customers. Enjoy! Ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing, we are going to be visiting 24 speakers from different destinations around the world to find out more about management in tourism. Please be seated, relax and grab a snack or drink. Our journey is about to begin. When the saints go marching in, marching in. Hello from the University of West London in the United Kingdom and welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I am delighted that I have contributed the terms risk management, crisis management and business resilience because a deeper understanding of these terms is needed now more than ever before. Hello everyone, this is Ulrike Gretzel. I'm uh, greeting you from my garden here in Redondo Beach, California. I am based at the University of Southern California, but our campus has been closed for over a year. 
and uh, I would like to say welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I have contributed um, a number of entries uh, related to online reviews, to influence, to destination influencer marketing, uh, netnography, as well as social media semiotics. And uh, people always ask me, what's going to happen with social media? Uh, I think social media is changing all the time, but we can be pretty certain that it's not going to go away. So these things are only going to increase in importance. So enjoy the encyclopedia. Hello from the Bremerhaven University of Applied Sciences in Germany and welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I'm glad to have contributed the term yellow tourism, which encapsulates all phenomena and incidences of crime and corruption in the tourism sector. In the future, understanding yellow tourism is going to be very important because sustainable tourism is also crime-free and corruption-free tourism. Hi everyone, from me, Lauren Ohr at the Heilbronn University of Applied Sciences here in Germany. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. It has been an absolute privilege for me to contribute to the term resilient destination planning. Resilience for me is one of those concepts that we need to explore a lot more in order to figure out how we can create more resilient, more sustainable destinations that are inclusive. This will help us to build back better, build back stronger, um, and ensure that more people around the world benefit from our diverse industry, which is travel and tourism. Thank you very, very much. It has been an absolute privilege. Best wishes to all of you out there. Fantastic international collaboration. Greetings from warm, sunny Jamaica, the leading tourism destination of the Caribbean. I'm happy to join you from the University of the West Indies, Mona, in Jamaica, where I have submitted an entry in the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing on a very unique concept known as destination assurance. Many people speak about quality assurance or expectations of guests and many other areas that relate to the concept of destination assurance. But destination assurance is unique in the sense that it looks at safety, security and seamlessness the composite experience of the guest when they come to our shores. It's a fantastic concept because what it means is that if you get destination assurance right, then your repeat visitors will be through the roof. I look forward to having you read this entry and we'll talk soon. See you in Jamaica. Hello, Dimitrios, and hello, everyone. Um, speaking to you from Brisbane, Australia. I'm a professor at Griffith University and it's been our pleasure to be involved with the Encyclopedia of Tourism um, Management and Marketing. A great title for a great um, resource that we will all be able to use uh, for many years to come. My entry, and I was involved with a few of them, but the main entry that I was involved with was to do with experiential education. It's something that I've been working on for some time and I was very pleased to be able to provide a definition of experiential education in tourism and to be able to give some examples and some definitional comments. I think it's going to be something that you might want to look at if you are experimenting with anything um, beyond the classroom. So again, uh, our pleasure to be involved and congratulations to Demetrius for putting this together. Hello, I'm Michał Zemła from the Pedagogical University in beautiful Krakow in Poland. I welcome everybody in the Encyclopedia of Tourism Marketing and Management. I'm proud to be a part of the team uh, working on this masterpiece. 
I have contributed the entry entitled Interdestination Cooperation. You can find the rules and examples of uh, effective cooperation between destinations. I wish you great reading of the encyclopedia. Congratulations to Dimitrios and all other people working uh, together on this uh, encyclopedia. And good luck. Hello, I'm Craig Webster from Ball State University in the United States of America. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I was very happy to contribute the political economy of tourism to this. I think the political economy of tourism is important because of this. You're going to say Andrew Jackson? No, I don't mean Andrew Jackson. I mean because of money. Money makes the world go around. It also makes tourism happen. So how we manage money, how we manage economies around money, which is politics, has something to do with how tourism will be practiced and enjoyed in the future. Thank you very much. Hope you read my entry. Hi, my name is Yayan Sinata from Bournemouth University. I'm from Indonesia, but currently living in Bournemouth. You can see the beautiful beach behind me right now. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I'm glad I contributed the term nowness in real time that I co-authored with Professor Bohalis. Nowness reflects the importance of co-creating value with all stakeholders in real time. Nowness is the solution of the increasing consumer's demand for instant gratification and how brands could improve and optimize their service offerings based on real-time data and contextual relevance. It is especially highly relevant during COVID-19 situation like now, where things change so quickly, and only brands with the ability to adapt, adopt, and manage crisis in real time can achieve the competitive advantage. Thank you, Professor Bohalis, um, for the opportunity to be part of this important project. Thank you, bye. Hello from University of Belgrade, Serbia, the Faculty of Organizational Sciences. And welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I'm Tatiana Ivanovic. And I'm Sonia Ivanovic. We teach human resource management to university students. And we are glad to contribute with two entries. The first one is human resource management. And the second one is burnout syndrome. Organizations around the world, especially in tourism and hospitality industry, have been facing challenges in dealing with their employees for a long time. The successful ones have realized that the only way to address these challenges effectively in the future is to invest in building and maintaining a strong human resource management function. On the other hand, burnout syndrome is unfortunately on the increase among tourism and hospitality employees. We truly hope that our entry will help raise awareness about this omnipresent issue and hopefully contribute to its prevention. Goodbye from Belgrade. This is a great resource for undergraduate and graduate students who wants to study hospitality and tourism. <clears throat> I would like to thank Professor Buhalis for initiating and completing uh, this project. Thank you, my friend. You did a great job. Thank you for your great contribution to the field. Hello everyone from the Namibia Business School at the University of Namibia. Welcome to the Encyclopedia in Tourism Management and Marketing. I am happy to be a contributor of seven entries. Uh, five of them were single authored and two were co-authored by myself and Helen Wengana as well as Regis Sawengane. I believe that these entries are going to form critical foundations of building up streams of tourism research in Africa and I also believe that these entries are going to stimulate discussions about writing about African tourism I, and I believe that the future of African tourism is bright. Uh, we hope uh, that these entries that we have contributed in the encyclopedia are going to stimulate your thinking as students, as researchers. Uh, thank you.
Hello everyone, I, Dr. Shruti Arora from University of Kota, Kota, Rajasthan, India. Here, I welcome you all to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I am glad that I contributed to the term food tourism and food walking tools. Today, food festivals and food walks are the biggest source of learning, cultural exchange and community development. Food walk is an entertaining concept to take part and understand the people's lives and taste through some delicious treat. Sometimes it incorporates the unseen gems of the places that is unlikely to be seen on the front page of the city guide book. Now, I hope that this encyclopedia will be a great success. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm Viktor Payevsky and welcome to the Encyclopedia for Tourism Management and Marketing. Uh, at the moment, I'm not part of any university, but however, I'm very glad that I have contributed to this encyclopedia with my term, Hotel Quality Management. As we all know, tourism is not tourism without hospitality, so they're both immensely connected. Hospitality is creator of memorable experiences. Uh, giving tourists a freedom and privilege in creating these experiences. In order to provide all of this, uh, hotels should establish quality management, which will contribute to uh, supervise and smooth hotel operations, which will make the life easier not only for the tourists, but also for the employees and hotel management. Also, I would like to use this opportunity to Thank Mr. Buhalis and everybody take care and stay healthy. Bye bye. Hello from the University of Bedfordshire in Luton. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I'm very pleased that I could have contributed the theme resilient island tourism, because resilient island tourism is certainly going to be quite important for the future. Hello there, I'm speaking from National Hotel and Tourism Training Institute, Jaka, Bangladesh, a South Asian country. I will come to the cutting edge and satellite of tourism management and marketing. I'm glad that I have contributed to terms, for example, nonverbal communication, emotional labor, and impression management. In tourism management and marketing, these two terms are uh, in fact to foster the acceptance of customer service and pursue the organizational goal and thus to increase revenues for the company. I hope you enjoy the reading of the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Abhijit Abraham from Northeastern Hill University, India. Welcome to Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I am glad to have contributed in the term Destination Competitive Dimensions in this project. This is a concept which holds varied implications for the future and so as destination competences can be quantified on the basis of technological, economic, social and cultural and overall tourism experience as well. I hope my entry on destination competitiveness this dimension be fruitful to the readers of Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Irina Givina from the University of Luxembourg. This is the only university in Luxembourg. Uh, I'm very happy to contribute to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management with three entries. 
Uh, they focus on gender stereotypes, gender in marketing, and gendered career choices. And I do hope they are useful for students, for scholars, and for practitioners. Thank you. Hello from the University of Grenoble Alps in France, and welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism, Management and Marketing, edited by Professor Dimitris Bohalis. I'm glad that I contributed to this valuable work by presenting the term foresight. In order to manage the future uncertainties in the development of tourism, foresight needs to be considered in policy formulation, decision making and planning of tourism, as it is a process that provides a deeper understanding of the forces and trends shaping the long-term future. Hello, my name is Goran Charluka, coming from Split University in Croatia. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. It was a great pleasure for me to be a part of this project and to contribute to the encyclopedia with two terms as a co-author, namely hotel seasonality and seasonality measuring. Seasonality used to be, is and will be one of the most distinctive features of tourism, determining tourism flows all over the world, whereby the most specialized destinations like Croatia, a destination which is specialized for beach summer tourism, are those ones which are mostly affected. So we have hotel establishments facing overuse of their capacities during the peak season, summer season, which is lasting only for two or three months, and underuse of their capacities in the rest of the year. We almost no demand at all. That's why it's extremely important to measure seasonality in order to combat seasonality. Thank you for your attention. Hello to everyone from Modul University Vienna. My name is Horst Treibelmeier from the Department of International Management. Welcome to the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing. I'm glad that I was able to contribute the term blockchain roadmap. Blockchain, or in a broader sense, distributed ledger technology is currently transforming the tourism industry. And believe me, it will not go away. In other words, you ain't seen nothing yet. In my contribution, I present a high level framework and a checklist for designing blockchain research. And I hope that it will be helpful for many of you. Have a great day. My name is Marit Pirman and I teach service design and tourism at the University of Tartu, Pärnu College in Estonia. I was extremely happy to contribute to the Encyclopedia of Tourist Management and Marketing with my colleagues Anja Babel and Katrin Sams. All together I participated in a process of defining three terms, service design, celebrity endorsement and humor. Um, all three terms are very important for the future of tourism. Um, the logic of service design should be considered in any service, uh, but especially in the tourist sector. And since human interaction and customer orientation play a very important uh, role in tourist services. Uh, when tourist services are designed well, or the destination is just fabulous, uh, then famous people uh, let's call them celebrities or influencers, uh, will be happy to talk about them, recommend them and endorse them. And finally, humor. Why is it so important in tourism? Uh, this you can read from the Encyclopedia of Tourism uh, Management and Marketing. Hello, I'm Cheryl Jones, a doctoral student at the University of Central Florida, Rosen College of Hospitality Management. My entry into the Encyclopedia of Tourism Management and Marketing focuses on destination management systems. These systems are of the utmost importance to destination management organizations because they utilize the technology that allows them to draw from their database and provide resources to their clients. The role of these destination marketing organizations is to promote travel to their destination and then generate revenue for the local economy. These destination management systems 
help these destination marketing organizations to facilitate customer relations and client database management. In addition, they provide an opportunity to monetize the websites and by placing these resources on websites as well as mobile apps. Again, destination management systems are instrumental to the success of destination marketing organizations. As you have seen uh, on all these entries by great colleagues, management is challenging around the world. And what they are describing is a, a, a range of different uh, techniques and methods that we're using to make sure that we optimize the outcomes of a very, very complex process. I think the tourism industry is one of the most complex uh, industries that, uh, that uh, exist in, in, in the economy. And therefore we need to engage everybody uh, and all the stakeholders together in managing the destinations and managing the tourism enterprises. I very much hope that you have enjoyed all the different uh, entries that uh, colleagues have uh, talked about from around the world and you have seen the opportunities and the challenges that we are facing. In this. And I look forward to engage with many of you into how we can improve uh, the management of tourism and hospitality in the future. I want to be there in that number when the band begins to play. Hallelujah, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching, saints go marching in. I want to be there in that number when the saints go marching in, marching in. When the saints go marching in, marching in. When the saints.